Hi, my name is Andres Orlando and I'm a project engineer with Jenny Kian Johansson. Over the past few years, uh, discrete element modeling has gained attention from industry in terms of using it as a design tool for bulk solids handling equipment. Today I would like to take a few minutes to talk about what discrete element modeling is and how it can be applied to successfully design bulk solids handling equipment. Most engineers are familiar with continuing mechanics and the intricacies of a constitutive equation that defines the strain and stress relationship for a solid. Knowing that equation, that constitutive equation, allows us to model the behavior of solids by use of a package such as finite element analysis. Once the particle size in the solid become of a certain uh, dimension, its interactions between particles around it and boundaries surrounding it become important. Um, in discrete element modeling, we lack a constitutive equation. And as such, we have to model the interactions of each particle. In discrete element modeling, we take each particle and track its interactions contact by contact and its motion particle by particle or particle by wall. So each particle will interact with its neighbors, be it another particle or be it a boundary and the forces applied to it will be modeled usually by a set of springs and dashbots. These springs and dashbots can take different many, many, many different uh, shapes where it could be a linear spring, it could be a nonlinear spring, it could be a hysteretic spring where it has a different stiffness on the loading versus unloading phase. But ultimately all we're doing is measuring the forces that are applied to particle one by particle two and walls interacting with it and using Newton's second law of motion to model its new position and new acceleration. At its core, DEM is very simple to apply. As you can see, all we're doing is solving F equals MA. The importance of DEM is knowing what this spring and this dashboard must be in order to model the real physical behavior of particles. I will be talking more about this behavior and modeling in Houston in October 14th. I hope that you can join me, and if not, please feel free to drop me an email or call us at J&J, and we'll be happy to talk to you about your application involving discrete element modeling.